Good day, Rancho Cordova. We are live this morning at the Haven Parkour Gym. This is Sacramento's only dedicated parkour gym. Uh, I've got three incredible athletes here who are really just, I mean, I'm not kidding. They're blowing my mind. Uh, that's Sam right there. You just saw Sam doing a flip. Uh, off to the side, you see Jerry jumping down, and I'm next to Andrew. Andrew, you guys decided to create this gym to help train others in, in the sport of parkour and also to really help elevate your own game. Yeah, absolutely, because uh, when we first started out, you know, six to eight years ago, we didn't have anything like this. We would have killed to have a facility like this to, to actually train the specific parkour skills in instead of just going to a gymnastics gym or on picnic tables and lawn furniture like me <laughs> when I started. <laughs> started out on lawn furniture and now you have this great gym. People from all over are coming to learn about parkour and maybe they've never done anything like this and that's part of the fun. Oh yeah, I mean just the novelty of it, you know what I mean? Especially you, you go from watching some kind of extreme video on YouTube and then you come in here and you're like, oh wow, like this is a little bit more palatable. We have people that have that have been trained for a long time to help teach me and instruct me in these kinds of skills. So okay, so you guys are a part of a competition. You were invited by Red Bull specifically. You are one of nine teams competing for bragging rights, ten thousand dollars in camera equipment, maybe a trip from Red Bull. So every week you're uploading these these videos. Yeah, so we're uh, go to Red Bull, or sorry, run the city .red -bull .com to vote for our videos. You can vote every single hour. Um, so we're trying to rack up as many votes as we can. Um, so yeah, it was really cool. We got picked by Jason Paul, who's like one of my original inspirations, and he's he's the the head athlete judge at Red Bull right now. So. Your own personal hero selected you and your yeah. team to participate in this. Yeah, so it was really cool, um, and we're just getting to to really branch out to the community with this, and so I'm really excited about it. Okay, so you heard him. You can vote once an hour, every hour, by going to the website. We'll be sure to have that linked for you. Uh, on our website and you've got all sorts of goodies on the line but also it, it, it kind of helps set the stage and elevate parkour locally here in Sacramento. Yeah um, it really just shows people kind of what's possible in our area. Uh, parkour or sorry Sacramento isn't really known for parkour that much outside of our small community and we're kind of pushing it and, and growing it so especially for our current students that are looking at the videos that we're making and, and you'd be like oh wow like this is like the level that we can take it to. There's sponsorship opportunities available. There's maybe career opportunities available for this kind of sport. So, okay, Andrew, I'm going to let you take off and hit it. Um, Sam, why don't you jump down here while Andrew takes off? I, I want to hear from you as to why you got into this sport. Why is this your sport of choice? It's kind of crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, excuse my breath. Uh, <laughs> honestly, for the freedom, freedom of the sport, um, it's not very regulated. It's a very uh, free-spirited sport. Uh, and the world becomes your playground. I mean, oh yeah. really, anywhere you go, you're able to use your skills and your athleticism. And I mean, look at these guys. They really, here's Andrew right behind you, Steve, coming up over the bars. I mean, it, it's really, it's hard to believe that this is how they spend their days. But I mean, truly, some incredible athletes. And you guys have the power of launching them to the number one spot. They're in number two right now. I'll send it back to you. All right. Thanks, All right. Anthony. That always I always do that. Me. I know it's yeah. just incredible. They're like, you know, there's a wall right there, and they tell their brains, well, "Don't stop, <laughs> run faster, and you'll flip." All right, we're.